butter in. Okay, here we are attaching our return air box. You have to do a little more level if you can. We're putting this in right now. You're, you're way down right here. Fit. You're way down right here. You need to be up here. Okay. Be, be up we'll here. Get we'll, get well, that side will fit in a little easier. If you're too far one and you can't get the other side. So again, we have a tight mm -hmm. squeeze. We have to cut this to the right dimensions. There you go. You're, you're, you're looking good. Looking real good. So while, while they're doing the that, let's yeah, take a look here at the other part that makes up the return air box, and that's this filter grill. We have a, uh, a rack right here that will go up in the ceiling. This will stamp apart so that you can change out a filter every six months as you're supposed to. The filter we have supplied is a disposable filter. Not very square. Right here. There'll be some command in a minute once we get it. This one is 14 by 30 by 1 inch. There's a readily available filter. Uh, again, it is a disposable filter. Yeah. If you right. want to, oh, wow. you can use a higher efficiency filter. You can go all the way up to a MERV 13 filter I mean, if you choose to. Try. I think it's got yellow oil candy kind of. We're going to be finishing this up shortly. We're going to be installing this in the attic shortly. This is our return air duct. This is specially made by Unico. If you can see inside there, that's the same material that we use with our two and two and a half inch acoustical supplies. This is 10 feet long. This particular unit is 14 inches in diameter. These range from 12 to 20 inches depending upon the size of the system that you use. What we will do is, when we put this in the attic, we have a pair of what are called Q-bands here. And these will attach like a pair of wire ties. One end will go to the return air duct, run, return air box rather, and the other one will go to the return air adapter, which is a part of the air handle. Here we have Bill attaching the return air duct to the return air box. We get a good, nice, tight fit with the return air ducts for the return air box. I'm going to tape this on, and then we're going to take our Q band in order to secure this. Well, they took me one long piece. Now there are two of these straps included with the return air box. One to use at this end. The other one will be used at the return air adapter on the air handler. Done right there. Well, technically, <laughs> this is the best. On the other now side, we're inserting the Q bands. You can hear the zip. These are like zip ties. You can hear the zip. Very good. Okay. Attaching the return air assembly with the sheet metal screws are included with the coil module. So again, everything you need will be with us. If, uh, if you do want to substitute, these are just 5 16 self-tapping screws. Okay, now we're going to attach the return air duct to the return air adapter. We're going to slide over the inner core, the porous nylon mesh material, and we're going to fasten this with the Q-band that is included with the return air box. Now remember this side is not pressurized so it's not under the same, uh, it's about 0.15 inches of static pressure as opposed to 1.2 on the other side.
Okay, now what we've done here, uh, this is a porous nylon mesh material that we have for our return air duct. Same as our sound attenuating tubing. So we want to be careful not to have any foreign objects come into the return air through a leak in the return. Well, we just we just put an extra layer of tape on there to make sure that we have an airtight seal all the way to the back. And then we also include a piece of insulation with the return air adapter we'll be putting on next. We'll put that on and that will complete our return air assembly. We actually do carry return air duct in R4, R6, and R8 as well. There are some codes that do require higher R value on the return air.